Yo, 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 what's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mortal Kombat 1 running on the ROG Ally and I can tell you right away that this game runs very well here on this system. We're going to be taking a look at performance and 1080p, 900p and 720p and testing various presets as well. So buckle up. This is going to be a good one. Many of you who don't know me don't know that I grew up playing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter as a kid. So I love these fighting games. I used to play these games in the arcade. So I absolutely am a fan of Mortal Kombat. So we're going to take a look at how well this performs here on these handheld systems. Right off the bat, we are going to be testing it out here in 1080p, low settings with no FSR upscaling just to see how well it performs. All right, so here we are in a match. I am playing as Scorpion and I have Kano by my side. We are going up against Sub-Zero and Sonya Blade. And right off the bat at 1080p with no FSR, during the cutscene, it's gonna be 30 FPS. Basically, all cutscenes are 30 FPS. But once we break out of the cutscene and get into the actual gameplay, that's where you can see the real performance. and Right now, as you can see, we are getting around 40 FPS if we play at 1080p native without any upscaling whatsoever. I should also draw attention to the fact that we are playing this game at 30 watts, which is the wattage that you can expect when you are playing plugged in at home or on the go with a charger connected to your ROG Ally. Later on in this video, we will show you how well the game performs at 15 watts or the performance mode. All right, so now let's take a look at how well Mortal Kombat 1 performs on the ROG Ally with all the same settings, 1080p low, but now with FSR enabled and we have FSR set to performance. Once again, here we are playing as Scorpion going up against Johnny Cage and I have Cyrax here by my side and he is playing with Sector. And you can see in the cutscene, we are at 30 FPS, but once we actually break into the actual gameplay, we are easily able to hit and maintain 60 frames per second. So for those of you who are looking to play at 1080p, I would recommend the performance mode, whether you're playing on the go, uh, but plugged in obviously at 30 watts or at home dock to your monitor. If you're trying to play at 1080p, I would recommend going with the performance mode for this game. All right, so now I know a lot of you are using the 900p mod for the ROG Ally, so I wanted to go ahead and include 900p performance here for the ROG Ally in Mortal Kombat 1. So here we are, 900p, low settings, no FSR, and as you can see right into the gameplay, it is performing quite well. We are kind of hovering around 50 to 55 FPS here in this gameplay. To me, in my opinion, this is the sweet spot. This looks very good here on the ROG Ally, even while docked. So it's gonna look very good on the actual ROG Ally screen. So if you're looking for something that looks almost as good as 1080p without having to use FSR, which can kind of make things look just a little bit blurry, try out 900p and if you just absolutely have to have 60 frames per second locked then you can always turn on fsr and we're going to show you how well this game looks with fsr 2 enabled right now all right for those of you who are absolute 60 fps junkies literally you cannot sleep at night unless you have 60 fps in your dreams these are the settings that i recommend for 900p fsr 2 set to balance and as you can see here on the ROG Ally, it has no problem hitting and maintaining 60 frames per second here in 900p with FSR 2 set to balance. So for those of you who must have that locked 60 frames per second, I would highly recommend playing with FSR 2 set to balance for 900p. All right, so now we're going to take a look at performance at 720p. We have everything set to low, no FSR whatsoever. We still have the TDP set to 30 watts, but we will be bumping it down to 15 watts for those who want to be able to play literally on the go with no, nothing connected for power whatsoever and see how well it performs. 
one of the best things about the rog ally is the fact that games still look pretty good on this device even when you scale it down to 720p here we are playing mortal kombat 1 with no fsr whatsoever 720p low settings and the image quality is still pretty good now i know a lot of y'all don't really prefer playing at 720p but for those of you who like to play at high settings 720p is where you want to be here we are playing at 720p high settings here on the rog ally and we are still able to hit and maintain 60 frames per second all right you're on that long flight to thailand to do whatever it is that you do over there don't ask don't tell but you need a long battery life all right 720p low no fsr at 15 watts and we are still able to maintain a modest close to 40 fps around 40 fps here with these settings it's not gonna look the best it's not gonna run the best but it is better than 30 fps and you are doing this at 15 watts still good performance and still gonna look pretty good on such a small screen if you're playing on the go at 15 watts you are gonna be able to squeeze probably about an hour and a half to two hours of gameplay out of this at the with these settings all right and as an added bonus for those of you who are like me and like to take the rog ally with you on the go for long trips but you still want to have that desktop gaming pc type performance on the go we're going to show you how well this game performs on the rog ally with the rx 6850m xte gpu for this demonstration we are playing in 1440p at ultra high settings with no fsr and as you can see we are easily able to reach and maintain around 60 fps even at the highest settings at 1440p now as someone who owns literally three handheld gaming devices this is one of the reasons why the rog ally is my favorite it's because i can pretty much do everything with it i can take it out with me to work to on the go on a trip and i can hook it up dock it to an eGPU and have the same kind of desktop gaming pc performance i would have on my actual desktop close to it but not exact i do have a 3090 and no the eGPU is not on the level of a 3090 but it gets the job done all right and closing out the video and to drive that last point home that the eGPU is a very powerful addition we're going to show you performance in 4k on high settings with fsr enabled set to performance now if you made it this far into the video and you enjoyed what you saw please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future content like this we cover tips tricks and gameplay performance for the steam deck and the rog ally you definitely don't want to miss out on any and that's it for us guys we're out of here we'll let you enjoy the rest of the gameplay and we'll see you in the next one peace Scorpion win.